Hey everyone, today I'm going to switch gears a little bit and do something fun and different. You already know that I have somewhere around 80 corsets, but I've been told that I have a relatively small shoe collection. Here I'll show you a collection of my favorite heels. I have 14 pairs of high heels, three pairs of running shoes, which I will spare you those because they've been worn to shreds, and three pairs of sensible winter boots, depending on whether I need cleats for ice, waterproof for puddles, or extra height for traversing through like four feet of snow. Starting with my two pairs of convertible heels, I've done full reviews on these before. The black leather pumps are from Gina Singapore, and the heeled sandals are from Mim et Moi. If you want to learn more about these shoes, I'll put the cards up in the corner, or you can check the description bar below this video. Next up, these are my Capizios. I got them from my parents for my 21st birthday. My parents used to do ballroom and Latin dance for many years to keep their bodies fit and their memories sharp, and to make new friends, especially after retirement. I got into dance when I was an undergrad, so this is my only pair of true dance heels. So I use these in my salsa classes and also sometimes for my jive classes, although I preferred running shoes for that. But either my feet got fatter or the leather shrank from misuse over many years because they don't quite fit as great as they used to. They also have a three and a half inch heel, but if I were to invest in new ones, I'd probably get two and a half or three inch heels instead. These are very spinny though, because they have a suede sole, but the soles need to be replaced right now because the suede is worn out. These are definitely indoor shoes, not meant to be worn outside. These super cute brass colored shoes are a secondhand find from Value Village. They're Dorothy Perkins sandals with a 3.5 inch heel or about nine centimeters. They're a bit long for my feet. They're size 38 European, but the width is pretty good. I have short feet, but they're kind of wide. As gorgeous as they are, they're very uncomfortable. They're definitely made for a sit down type of event. But I love all the beads here. You can see pearls, butterflies, little crystals, uh, seashells. It's uh, very interesting to look at. And I like wearing this with like a soft pink or a cream dress. Unfortunately, these shoes are not made with very high quality materials. I mean, they are about 10 years old, but the metallic foil is flaking off. Um, the sole is kind of coming off as well. And uh, just when I put these on today, the buckle broke on my right shoe. So I had to tuck in that strap um, kind of behind my ankle. So um, I'm probably going to remove all the lovely beads and charms to use on a future project and I'll chuck the rest of the shoe. Now these shoes are super comfy and I wear them often when I'm wearing something that doesn't quite go with black. These are Aldo gold satin peep toe shoes with a 10 centimeter heel or just under four inches. These are again a size eight, so they're a little big, but this comes in handy when I'm out dancing and my feet start to swell a little. <laughs> I must have worn these heels at a barbecue or a park or something because the heels are muddy and I probably should have cleaned them before this video, but it's too late now, so. These shoes were my previous quote unquote perfect pumps. I think I bought these when I was in grade 12 from Le Chateau, which was uh, one of my favorite clothing stores. These are size seven, so they actually fit my feet and they don't uh, constantly fall off the heel, or at least not too often. <laughs> um, these have a 10 centimeter heel or just under four inches, which seems to be my favorite height. Um, they are polyurethane leather, PU leather or vegan leather, but they look like patent leather. They're very shiny. They've uh, held up very well over the years. I love the round toe on this shoe, even though it's not so much in fashion anymore, but I personally find a round toe to be more comfortable on my feet feet. Also, I like that these shoes don't show too much toe cleavage. These shoes I consider to be my best secondhand find. So I got these on sale at Value Village. So they are pre-owned, but the person who owned these before must have had a very similar foot shape as I did because they are incredibly comfortable. And uh, I got these at a 50% off sale. So I actually paid $3 for these. They are Italian leather, Appetino brand, size 38 with a nine centimeter heel or about three and a half inches. And they are a little bit dated they look kind of 80s or early 90s, especially with the super um, skinny stiletto at the very bottom and that chevron cut and the toe cleavage, but these are comfy as sin. And uh, these are very, very close to what I would consider to be my new perfect pump. I also bought these ridiculous platform shoes at Value Village for $8. They are Club Couture brand, uh, size seven. 
they have a six inch heel or 15 centimeters, but they also have a two inch platform. So it's not too difficult to walk in. Um, I bought them for a photo shoot last summer because I was going to be wearing a very, very long skirt and I didn't want it to drag through the mud. Uh, and also because these shoes add an extra six inches in height, I wanted my legs to look a little bit longer and leaner in the photos, but I didn't end up using these. I actually ended up running around in my running shoes <laughs> underneath the very long skirt. Anyways, uh, I basically only put these on when I want to feel like I'm six feet tall. <laughs> Other than that, um, they're great if you aspire to break your ankle. And the interesting thing about these shoes is how the platform sole is kind of scooped or uh, curved rather at the toe. Obviously this is for ease of walking, but I also realized that the way they're angled, I can go up on my tippy toes in them. I don't know why I'd want to considering that they're quite high enough, but the point is I can. <laughs> So these are my tallest pair of heels. They're by Pleaser, uh, and arguably they are my most impractical. I purchased these ones new, so these are not a Value Village find. I purchased them because I wanted to do a Jessica Rabbit cosplay, if that wasn't obvious enough, but unfortunately I never ended up finishing that project. These are five and a half inch heel with no platform on them. And uh, again, this is a great shoe if you're going to be at a sit down event. It's not so much the height of the heel that is the most annoying part of these shoes, so much as the toes being so pointy because my toes just don't go in that shape. Um, but uh, yeah, the height of the heels, these are challenging. I do have to stretch my feet and my ankles a bit before I can wear these shoes for any length of time. But um, I do like how it shows off my ridiculously high arches. I've also worn these shoes for a photo shoot way back in 2012, um, which was basically on the main banner of my website for an extremely long time. But I'll probably be getting rid of these shoes as I've kind of given up on my Jessica Rabbit cosplay. So uh, if anybody wants these, I'll probably be selling them off. And these shoes are kind of sneaker style high heels by Skechers. So it's kind of like if Sporty Spice and Posh Spice had a baby. <laughs> They're really comfy. They're made from a breathable upper material. They have great tread on the bottom. They have a squarish toe, which I don't like aesthetically, but they are extremely comfy on my toes. Uh, these have a nine centimeter heel or about three and a half inches. And I keep trying to get rid of these shoes because they're not really my style anymore, but they always end up back in my closet because they are just so comfy and I can really run around in these if I want to. Here are some Oxford style booties made by Wild Diva. I got these about 10 years ago while I went uh, shopping at the outlet malls in Buffalo. Uh, because I live close to Toronto, um, so I'm, I'm in Canada, Buffalo is right across the border. It's about a two hour drive for me. So these are a four and a half inch heel, but they've got a half inch platform and uh, they're pretty cute. Um, they fit all right once I actually get into them, but they are a pain to get into, unfortunately. Uh, there's something about the angle of that curve at the back of the heel, and unfortunately, these shoes occasionally cut into the back of my ankles, so I don't wear these that often, unfortunately, but they are very cute. These are slouchy boots from White Mountain, and they actually aren't mine. <laughs> I swept them from my mom's closet, but they're great little water-resistant boots when you want to dress up a little bit in the wintertime and you're not walking long distances. Bit of a lower heel, but uh, not much tread on these. But yeah, they are very fun and extremely comfy. Please forgive the vertical filming of this one because I just wanted to make sure I got the full height of the boot in frame. So these are Aldo boots. I bought these probably 10 years ago at the Aldo outlet in Montreal. And I was on a real silver kick at the time for some reason. I had a silver winter jacket, I had silver pleather pants. And so when I saw these silver boots, um, and I think they were like $300 originally marked down to $80. So I could not stop thinking about these. I, I kind of, I went home and I thought about it for a day and then I came back and I was just like, oh my gosh, I still hope it's in my size. These boots were a brighter silver before, but now they've tarnished a bit, but I actually think the tarnish makes them look even cooler now. It has a, a little bit of an oil spill effect to them now. 
So um, yeah, these are size seven with a four and a half inch heel, half inch hidden platform. But unfortunately, they have an incredibly uncomfortable wooden sole. So when I went dancing in these boots, I literally bruised the soles of my feet. They definitely need some gel insoles. And also unfortunately, because it's wooden at the bottom, it's extremely slippery. <laughs> so they are not great for smooth floors or ice or anything of this sort. But I've worn these for a couple of photo shoots, like with my corsetry and romance corset, uh, but they do rarely come out. I think I bought these boots for a pirate party, if I remember correctly. They were a good find on eBay. They're Deba brand. Uh, they are over the knee, faux leather, and they have a half inch hidden platform. These are size seven, so they actually fit me properly. What I didn't know about these boots is that they're incredibly warm. So if I wanna go somewhere nice and I, I wanna wear a dress, but it's like negative 40 degrees outside, I will actually wear these boots under a long dress, like a long skirt. And these boots keep my legs warm, like right up to the thigh, they keep my legs warm, so it's great. Um, however, these boots are not that great for walking on ice because obviously it has like a, I think it's like a 12 centimeter heel which is a little bit under five inches. Unfortunately, these boots are starting to flake now and uh, my calf muscles have built up so much that I can barely zip these closed anymore. So I don't see myself owning these much longer. It is a shame how quickly vegan leather breaks down and degrades because these were very cute. And as an honorable mention, these are not high heels, but they are Heelys. They are not the adult Heelys. Uh, these are the largest size in the kids, like the girls. So I think they're a six wide and they fit my feet surprisingly very, very well. I snapped these up in a closeout sale when a shoe outlet was closing down near my school. And unfortunately I am horribly uncoordinated. So I never really got the hang of these, um, but they are super fun and I don't see myself parting with these anytime soon. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed my shoe collection. I think that's a lot shorter than my corset collection video that I did last year. But what do you guys think? Post a comment down below and let me know which ones were your favorite. But anyway, thank you for joining me and watching to the end. Thank you for allowing me to do some of these kind of fun, um, off-topic videos once in a while. And I will see you all next week for another video. Bye.